Hello and welcome once again everyone. Today's video is all about the brand new German Premium Tier 8 Destroyer Z35. Before diving a little deeper into the Z35, let me first quickly congratulate Chibisoft from the EU server on winning the California giveaway and best wishes with your brand new Premium American Battleship. As with the previous giveaway, if this video on the Z35 is approved by Wargaming, I'll be able to give away the Z35 to one lucky winner. So please leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comment section below and be actively subscribed to my channel. There was actually quite a low number of entrants to the California giveaway. So I urge you all to enable your YouTube notifications by clicking that bell icon below and don't miss out on any future giveaways. Okay, with that taken care of, let's crack on with the Z35, starting with putting up the complete ship build, including modifications and captain skills I've been using while testing the Z35 during the last few weeks. I've been revisiting a lot of the German destroyers in recent weeks since the buff to the line's high explosive armour penetration and I must admit to have been on occasion pleasantly surprised with the HE's performance. It was no secret the line had fallen a little by the wayside and was in need of some attention. All that practice in German DDs had not been in vain and have proved quite fruitful when getting to grips with the Z-35. I must confess to being quite apprehensive when the Z-35 first appeared in my port. Direct comparisons were immediately made with its Tech 3 compatriot, the Z-23, and my initial reaction was one of dismay. It seemed virtually weaker on all fronts that mattered. Less HP, smaller gun calibre, and even considerable less torp range. I always try and approach every new ship with the intent of finding its strong points and devising a role that suits those strengths. On closer scrutiny what stands out with the Z35 is its DPM, a very fast reload speed of 3.1 seconds which is only beaten by the renowned Akazuki by one tenth of a second and its access to short burst smoke generator, more usually found on British destroyers. The Z-35 is not an easy ship to play by any means, but in the right hands with the right tactics, it can become incredibly dangerous to enemy destroyers. It is after all the primary role of destroyers, to be able to counter and neutralize enemy DDs, contest and capture points, and it's in this role of ambush predator Z-35 can really feel quite strong. This combination of on-demand smoke screens combined with 5km German hydroacoustic search and high DPM makes Z-35 quite deadly. This poor Uhland, he's caught in close quarters, perma spotted by the hydro and quickly goes down to concentrated fire. It's this ability to be able to clear the field of enemy destroyers that makes Z-35 quite impactful on games, allowing you to dictate engagements. And while the average damage overall might not have been that high, it really did have some very good win rates. And being a big fan of close quarter DD gunfights, it really did feel like quite a bit of fun. So let's go through the ship's stats, starting with its survivability. Z-35 with this build using survivability expert gets 21,900 hit points. Its armour is the standard destroyer armour of 19mm everywhere except the superstructure which has just 16mm. It's important to note here that Z-35 does not get a heal but the virtually on demand short burst smoke screen will go a long way to increasing Z-35's survivability over the course of a game. Z-35's main artillery consists of five single mounted 128mm guns, two four and three at the rear, 
with a 180 degree turning time of 22.5 seconds, a max firing range of 12.1 kilometers, and a very fast reload time of 3.1 seconds. Z-35's high explosive rounds are capable of inflicting a max damage of 1500, are capable of penetrating 32 millimeters of armor, and have a base fire starting chance of 6% which can be boosted to 7% when mounting both combat signal flags. Z-35's AP rounds are capable of inflicting a max damage of 3000 and both shell types have uniform shell ballistics of 830 meters per second. Z-35 gets two X-4 torpedo launchers, both of which can be used on either side with a max damage of 13,700. 6 kilometers in range with 64 knots of speed and a reload time of 90 seconds. It's this very short 6 kilometer range which can really feel a little debilitating at times. Normally consigning you to using islands as cover to surprise slowly moving targets at close range. It was at this point being on ocean I decided to set myself a little challenge to see how many targets I could actually torp without getting detected. Having a detection range of 6.2 kilometers and only a torp range of 6 kilometers, well, it's not exactly conducive to stealth torping, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. It just means you have to be really precise with your positioning and timing. But there are some really nice examples from here on in the video. Z-35 gets an AA defense rating of 25, getting 19 flat guns in total, but it's all short to mid range, with a max firing range of just 3.5 kilometers. These AA guns pump out a continuous average damage of 160, but have zero flak explosions, so you would be very reliant on using the short burst smoke screens to avoid any nasty attention from the air. You will be forced to employ what I would call frustration tactics, for the most part, to deal with air assault. Denying the carrier plane's vision, thus making any kind of strike on your position more difficult. When it comes to maneuverability, Z-35 gets a max base speed of 36.5 knots, increased to 38.3 knots with the Sierra Mike signal flag, a turning circle radius of 670 meters and a rudder shift time of 4.4 seconds. Not spectacular, but not that bad either. Finally, stats wise, we come to the Z35's concealment rating of 88, with a full stealth build utilizing both modifications and captain skills. This translates into a detection range of 6.2 kilometers from sea and 3 kilometers from the air. These torps are right on target and looking at two successful stealth runs in a row. I'm being very careful to not switch to my guns at any point to give the intended targets any warning they are being targeted by a destroyer. An ideal target like both of these GKs is one that is already engaged in a fight and is angling to mitigate damage and less likely to change course and speed when unaware of the threat of a close by destroyer. All that remains is to see if I can pull off a hat trick of stealth attacks on the Riga, which is the closest target. The Z 35 is based on a real ship, and she was the lead ship of her class of destroyers, built for the Kriegsmarine during World War II. Completed in late 1943, Z-35 went on to serve in the Baltic, escorting German ships, laying minefields and bombarding Soviet forces. In December 44, a navigational error caused her to enter a German minefield, where she struck one or more mines and sank with the loss of all but 70 crewmen. A sad end indeed. I hope I was able to provide you some useful information on the Z-35 it's a tricky ship to get used to, but feels very powerful when played, employing strong combat tactics based on a classic hit-and-run strategy. 
If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button below, and would like a chance to win a free Z35, make sure to enter the giveaway by leaving your in-game name and the server you play on in the comment section below. A lot of the comments are quite amusing, and I do try to answer as many as possible. I'll be playing the Z35 along with many other German DDs on stream, so feel free to come on over and say hi. A perfect hat-trick of stealth kills on a map as rare as Ocean. Probably never to be repeated again. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.